So, there are quite a few big games this weekend. Let's have a look how we predict game week four in the Premier League to go. Now, before we start the video, there is an FM21 giveaway. All you have to do, guys, is subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and in the description below, there's a tweet. Just give that tweet a retweet, follow me along us live, and you have a chance of winning FM21 by launch. If you guys are looking to buy any retro or current football shirts, classicfootballshirts.com is the place to go. Use the link in the description below and Longhurst at checkout for 10% off of your order. Classic Football Shirts stock over 300 new items per day and is definitely the place to go for all your Classic Football Shirts needs. So as I said, Game Week 4 has some interesting fixtures going on and we're going to start with kind of what is a London derby. I guess it kind of counts as one, it kind of doesn't, but Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. I'm going for a 2-1 home Chelsea win there. I think Chelsea are on paper better than Palace. Obviously, football's not played on paper. But I just think Chelsea, they've lost their last two games. I'm expecting Frank Lampard to try and come back firing, play a few more new signings. But I think Chelsea beat Palace 2-1 on the opening, or technically the opening game of the weekend. Next up, we have Everton versus Brighton. Everton look incredible. I think they've won the last six games, is it? Last six games in all competitions. I'm going for a 2-1 Everton win at home to Brighton. I think Brighton might struggle this year. And Everton are looking very, very, very good. The other dogs kind of of this whole season. The midfield's incredible. I think Allen and Ricardson got injured versus West Ham last night. So we'll see if they're fit or not. But I think without them too, I still think Everton. 2-0 win versus Brighton for me. And Leeds versus Man City. I've gone for an away win. Man City 3-1 here. Obviously they got hammered by Leicester on the weekend. I think mean, Leeds aren't strong enough to beat City. I mean, they could counter-attack. They could do a high press. But I think City will probably expose them for that high pressing game that Leeds do. And I've gone for a 3-1 City win. Pep's got to come back out firing like as Frank Lampard. I think a 3-1 there is pretty much what I think will happen. Uh, Newcastle versus Burnley next. I think this game screams boring all over. I mean, the predictions could be terrible. Next week I could review this week and it could be a 5-all game. But I've gone for a one all Newcastle Burnley. I don't think many sides won't score this year. I think in quite even games, both teams will score because neither, team, neither teams in any of the games can defend. So I think Newcastle versus Burnley, one all there. I want to see how Newcastle do long term. I think they've got some decent signings, but they haven't really shown it too much this year. Obviously beat West Ham first game of the season. But I went for a one all Burnley there. And following on from that one all trend, Leicester versus West Ham. West Ham away from home. My heart says a West Ham win. My head says a one all Leicester draw. I'm not sure why it thinks that. I'm uh, in my head, in my heart, sorry, I'm thinking a 2-1 West Ham win. But I've gone for a 1-0 Leicester draw here. I think even though Leicester beat Man City in quite heavily, I don't know. I think it's foolish of me to say 1-0. But that's what I've gone for. West Ham have kind of filled me optimism with Wolves with a 4-0 win. But then the midweek game versus Everton lost 4-1. So I'm not sure how we're going to go. We could get battered or we could batter them. I've gone for a 1-0 draw of neither of those happening. Southampton versus West Brom. I've gone for a home win, Southampton versus West Brom. I think West Brom, as well as Fulham, who we'll talk about next, are pretty much the two favourites to go down. I've gone for a Southampton win. West Brom do have goals in them, but I've got a feeling that Southampton will nick this 1-0. Probably a late goal from someone, maybe Ward-Prowse if he's fit. I don't even know if he is. But a 1-0 win for Southampton I've gone for there. Wolves versus Fulham. As I said, Fulham are pretty much, I'm going to say, down already. Paddy Power have already paid out on bets if you bet for Fulham to go down. So the bookies are pretty much saying Fulham are down. I'm saying Fulham are down. Gone for a 3-1 Wolves win here. Wolves are looking to, rep to come back from the 4-0 loss or the humiliation at West Ham. Gone for a 3-1 Wolves win. I think Fulham are pretty much dead and buried already. It's only four games gone, but I've said it there. Fulham are down. Arsenal versus Sheffield United. Gone for a 2-0 Arsenal win. Sheffield United look a bit look a bit weak this year compared to last season. Sort of a first, first year luck, I guess, beginner's luck. But I think Sheffield United will struggle this year. Gone for a 2-0 Arsenal win. Not much else to say, really. I think Aubameyang could play well. He's my fantasy captain, so I'm hoping he does. But a 2-0 Arsenal win is my prediction there. Man U versus Spurs. Arguably the biggest game this weekend, I'd say. Probably is the biggest game. Obviously, um, Jose Marino comes back to Man United Old Trafford. I've gone for an away win. Spurs 2-1 versus Man United. Coming off some good form versus Chelsea in the Cup. They won that game. A lot of Spurs fans are confident about what's happening at Spurs recently. This season, the mentality has changed. Obviously, the Amazon documentary focused on that mentality. But I've gone for a 2-1 Spurs win. Man, you look... I mean, they luckily won versus Brighton. I say luckily, they won versus Brighton in controversial manners. But I've gone for a 2-1 Spurs win there. Bruno Fernandes probably going to have a penalty. But I think Harry Kane is looking dangerous this year as a, as a passer more than a scorer. I've gone for a 2-1 Spurs win there. And the final game of this game week, Villa at home to Liverpool. I think Villa, in my eyes, it's been controversial. A lot of people say I'm wrong. But I think Villa could struggle this year. Like Sheffield United, like Villa, like West Brom and Fulham. 
and possibly West Ham. I think Villa will struggle and I've gone for a 3-0 Liverpool away win. I think Liverpool win the league this year. I mean, I said my favourites are Man City, but I think this, obviously between Man City and Liverpool, Liverpool at the moment are favourites. I think they're sort of three or four points clear already. It's only four games gone. I've gone for a 3-0 away win with Liverpool. Those are my predictions, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm sure some Leeds fans will have fancy chances versus City or Leicester fans think West Ham will ha get hammered. But let me know what you think in the description below, guys. Enjoy the video. Leave a like and subscribe, guys. And I'll catch you all next episode for some more Game Week predictions.